How many days in Prince Edward Island does the typical owner slash vendor require for closing? This is the question I'll answer in this video, but before I do, be sure you subscribe to the channel, press the little bell symbol beside it, and give the video a thumbs up. So basically, this question can be answered in this way. Whenever making an offer on a property, in my opinion, it pays a lot and will be greatly valued if your agent, the buyer's agent, talks to the listing agent to find out what the motivation and the circumstances are behind the owners. Maybe they want to close in a few hours because the house is sitting vacant and they have to do a walkthrough for insurance reasons and they don't care about the money. Maybe they're relocating and they can't close for six months or so, maybe six or seven months, depending on the relocation. Or maybe they're just your typical homeowner that has bought another property and there's a specific closing date they have to come in line with. So get your buyer's agent to talk to the listing agent, find out what they feel would be a good closing date or on our, on our contracts on the bottom of page one of the purchase and sale, it's referred to as a completion date. So find out what the preferred completion date is and see if your dreams and goals can align with that. Typical closings in PEI in most places in North America are probably somewhere between 30 and 90 days. However, in the past, I've closed deals in hours. There's been other deals that have closed in months and possibly even years, years being unlikely. So have a conversation. Collaboration is key when making an offer. Have yourself a great day for PEI listings before they hit MLS and PEI real estate tips, tricks, and traps. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, press the little bell, and be sure to give it a thumbs up. Have a great day. If you have any questions about PEI real estate or PEI in general, put them in the comments below.